us, didn't you? We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring.
That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured? Or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is to have a record of all of our lost time. Human history is fascinating. Oh, how I will enjoy every moment of its categorization. Do you think that you would destroy this installation as well as this record? I am shocked. Almost too shocked for words. He stopped the self-destruct sequence. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win. Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively painless and... At least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor... He's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted... I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why... Okay, I'm coming with you. Chief! Sentinels! was heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cryo chamber. We should be able to get to the engine room through there.
Located. We're here. Alert! The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the countdown. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive port. Surrender the construct. Stabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cells. Use an explosive. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engines.
fusion reactor to go. Signal for evac. Accessing schematics. Effecting repair sequence. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry!
Approach the crash site and be ready to pick us up at external access junction 4C as soon as you get my signal. Affirmative. Echo 419 going on station. Echo 419 to Cortana. Things are getting noisy down there. Everything okay? Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now! Activating final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't be here when it blows.
down. We'll need them later. and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started. 